Hey guys and welcome! With me today I have beautiful Barnaby here, she's my California Kingsnake and what we're going to do today is to look at how to do a very simple uh, What we're going to do today is to take a look at how to do a very simple setup for the California King Snake. The California King Snake is one of my absolute favorite snakes and for a very good reason. It was the first snake that I ever ever got and ever since that I just fell in love with this species. These guys are incredibly awesome because first of all they do get pretty pretty big. They can grow up to something like 1.7 meters and that is a pretty pretty long snake. They do also get kind of heavy around the body, not like the boa of course, but they do get to a pretty pretty good size. And besides that they are incredible eaters, like Barnaby here has never ever refused a meal. And they are also, as you can see, pretty, pretty good to handle. The California King Snake, unfortunately, do have a reputation of being kind of aggressive. Uh, I do agree that they are a lot more active than, for example, the Corn Snake, but I wouldn't say that they are aggressive. I have taken a bite from Barnaby here, but that's only because I was incredibly stupid and stuck my hand in there and she thought it was food. But in general, the California King Snake is incredibly beautiful, very active, very good eaters, and as I said before, they do grow to this pretty pretty good size and as a final awesome note these guys they actually do eat rattlesnakes in the wild and if that is not the most badass thing for a snake to do then I don't know what is but enough chit chat let's take a look at how to do a very awesome but simple setup for the California king snake so this is Barnaby's terrarium as it is looking now I emptied it all out so we can start from the beginning in the background here I have some cork I really like to cover the background of every terrarium I have because it does make the snake feel more comfortable so I can highly recommend you doing that you don't need to put up this cork you can do something as easy as putting a towel on top and on the back of uh, the side of the terrarium if you are having a snake that does show signs of stress or is not that comfortable you can also cover the sides it really helps the snake feeling more comfortable over here you may not be able to see it but over here I have a thermometer that I'm just hanging inside the terrarium you can buy these at Exoterra I believe you can also buy something like a hygrometer but what I do have is that I have a hygrometer that I can just move from terrarium to terrarium to make sure that the humidity is correct. The thermometer measures of course how warm and how cold there is in the terrarium and the hygrometer measures the humidity. Over here to the right I have a heat mat because like all snakes they really do need a heat source. You can also go a heat bulb if you want to, that's totally your choice. But the Californian king snake does not need some sort of special light so you can just as easily go the heat mat. And here you can see the heat mat. I have one just like the one I put underneath and what you do is that you stick it underneath the terrarium and then you plug it in and you're good to go. The next thing we need is some sort of substrate. Of course, the California king snake really do prefer to burrow, like the corn snake, but I have chosen to keep Barnaby on newspaper because she's doing perfectly fine on that. But you can, of course, go whichever substrate you like. Do know that this is a species that do like to burrow. The next thing we're going to put in is a hide and you've probably seen a lot of different hides. They can look very, very differently. One of them is, is this. These are very, very commonly used. You can find them in pet stores and you can find them in expos as well. I really like how these looks because they look very, very natural. What you can also find also at pet stores or expos are these. Whoops. <laughs> are these. These are also used and they do exactly the same thing like the other one I shown you, which means that they give the snakes some darkness and some comfort and a place to go uh, when they need to retreat. So these two are very commonly used as hides. What I also do is that I make my own hides, which means that I have made these. And these are actually made from two boxes or whatever you call them. They used to have meat in them. So what I did is that I cleaned them thoroughly and then I cut a hole for the snake to go in. So this is something that you can also do. What the hides really need to do is of course give the snake somewhere to retreat and somewhere in complete darkness where the snake can just chill. It doesn't matter if you bought the hide at an expo at the pet store or if you made it yourself. As long as it works, it works. And the snake really doesn't care how it looks so it's basically up to you. We have the two hides ready. I have one in the warm end and one in the cold end. I really like to put in at least two hides for my snakes so they can choose whether they want to stay in the warm end or in the cold end. 
The next thing we're going to put in is this branch. And you can just as easily go out in the forest and find a branch. You can also find them for sale at Expos again. I'm not sure about pet stores maybe, but I do believe that this is one that we just found outside. I am putting a branch in here because the California king snake really does like to explore. So she will definitely be using this. And this rock here is to make sure that it stays in place. And of course we have some fake plastic plants. These can be used uh, as clutter as well to make the snake feel even more safe. And it also looks pretty damn good. So let's put these in. I have to say that the plastic plants is not a complete necessity. Like it's not something that you just need to have for a basic setup. So last but certainly not least is of course the water bowl. Water bowls are incredibly important for snakes. They really do need to have water available 24 seven. Again, this is a water bowl I believe is bought either at a pet store or at the expo. They have this natural look to them, which I really, really like. But again, the snake doesn't mind. If you feel like using a, a dog's water bowl instead, you can pretty much do that as long as it is capable of containing water and don't tip over as easily because the snakes they really do like to crawl around it so something that doesn't tip over but can contain water is perfectly fine doesn't have to be specifically made for reptiles so this is a pretty simple basic setup for the california king snake you really don't need any more than this to keep your snake perfectly healthy thriving and happy and i can tell you barnaby she's doing so well in here she eats she poops and she sheds like a champion we have everything ready now we just need the snake so let's go get Barnaby. Alright guys, that's all for today. I really do hope you enjoyed this simple setup. Please give the video a like so I know that you like what I make. It really does mean a lot to me. And while you're at it, just hit subscribe on that channel. Thank you guys for now and bye bye! Oh, 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 oh,